I'm Patty with Studio R12 Stencils and we just got done being creative and now all of our brushes are dirty. Brushes cost money so I'm going to show you how to take care of your brushes and get them really clean so that you don't wreck them. Alright, the first thing you need to know is what to do while you're crafting. Um, if you lay your paintbrush off to the side, um, the air around you is going to oxidize the paint and that is what makes the paint harden. If you get hardened paint in your brush, then you will be sad because it will ruin your brush. Um, you can, there are good brush cleaners out there. Um, Windsor Newton makes one. Um, we'll link it below. I don't remember the name of it. Okay, so what you do, you've got your paintbrush. You pick up your paint, you're painting along, you're doing the thing, right? This is the kind of brush, these are Taclon smooth, like artist brushes, liner brushes, round brushes, flat brushes, any of those kinds of brushes, you never ever want to just leave them on their heads in the water. Any of these kind of scraggly, scruffly brushes, these are the kinds of brushes that you can just leave in the water all day long. Sometimes I've left them while I went on vacation and came back. Um, so these you can leave in the water for a good long time. And so I just throw them in. But these, you can't do that and you don't want to lay it aside and you don't want to get up and go to your sink every two seconds to go clean a brush. So what I do with these is I go into the water and I gently, and I'm going to show you out of the water, let me get a little bit more paint off so I don't paint my hand. What I do is I'm hitting the bottom of the basin, I'm not hitting it on its nose, I'm hitting it here and flattening it out. So I've got a little angle on my brush if you can see that. And then with the water around it, and I'll flip it over and do the other side. And then sometimes I do against the edge as well, depending on the brush. And then what I'm looking for is basically a brush that doesn't have a whole lot of paint left in it. Okay, and then I'll set that brush. I tend to pinch them out and then set them off and then I'll use them again and again. I've been cleaning my brushes this way for 30 years. It's what works for me and I definitely have painted quite a few projects. Okay, so that's the same for all of these. I get it dirty, go over here and do that. And then these ones, it's just in the water. And next, let's learn how to treat each of these brushes and get them clean. All right, this is an oval glaze and we'll link some videos that use this brush down below. And um, this is made out of a synthetic fiber. This technique for cleaning your brush works for most synthetic fiber fine brushes. This is artist brush stuff. So we're gonna get our brush dirty. And then this is what I would do in my brush, my water basin. And so I will just push down on the bottom and wiggle it. We've got it in this glass jar so that you can see it. Okay, and that gets most of the paint out. Once I got most of the paint out, I would pinch it dry, set it aside, and at the end of using my brushes, I'll come to my sink, I'll turn on my water, and then I will take my ginger grater and I'll run the water right under there. Let me see if I can get that at a better angle. And then I just run the ferrule part over the raised grater parts. Under running water, and it will run clean. Once it's run clean, then I know I've cleaned my brush. I put that down, rinse it with clear water, and then pinch it out. You always pinch your water out of your brushes, and then I store mine straight up and down in a cup or a brush container. Your round brushes and your liner brushes are the most finicky of any brush that you'll ever mess with. Sometimes all you have to do is look cross-eyed at a liner brush and it will flare its tip and it will be useless. So you really want to watch how you're caring for these. So I'm going to show you both of these. You take your, I'll do the liner brush first because it's super fine. You pick up, this is our mighty fine liner and it is a very fine brush. It's super fine but it does super great lines. All right, so now when we're in our water bucket, you wanna be careful about jabbing it on its, on its nose. You wanna be careful about, um, you know, you don't wanna be doing this on, on its tip. Okay, so just very, very, very gently. Swish, swish, swish. Tap it off, pinch your brush, and you're rinsed out. Now when you're gonna to go to your ginger grater, you really won't go to your ginger grater. You'll just go under running water and just do that. Pinch it out, set it aside. Same thing with your round, but sometimes your rounds, see how much heavier that is? Sometimes your rounds can use a ginger grater. It really depends on how big your round brush is. Um, and by the way, this round brush that's on our website, we'll link it below. 
fabulous, fabulous round brush. Okay, so we'll go into our water and swish and swish. And then when we come over here, you can see there's nothing on there. I'll come over to the sink, pull that down just a little bit so it's not so loud. If I needed my ginger grater, I would just very gently take that ferrule, you can hear it clicking, turn off the water and pinch it out. All right, now let's clean one of the workhorse brushes that we use all the time and it's our foam brush. The Mighty Foam Brush does not get a lot of respect in the painting world. You want to make sure you keep it buried in your water so that it stays wet the whole time. Then you pull it out, get your sink running, and then you just squeeze it until the water comes clean. And that little bit of like staining right there, as long as it's not hard, you're good. So just squeeze, squeeze. When your water is clean, squeeze out the rest of the water and lay it off to the side. All right, now we've dealt with all the fine brushes, let's get to the workhorse brushes. Our dome brushes, this is the one that we use for all stenciling. We use it, use it, use it, and swirl with it, stipple with it. Um, I've had this one in white paint. We don't need to swish in the bottom of our basin. We just come under some running water with our ginger grater. The only technique with this that I prefer is I don't prefer to go flat against my ginger grater. I prefer to go on the edge to keep and preserve the dome shape. I've had some of my teachers at our retail shop spend time going straight across because it's faster and we've ended up with flat brushes and we know the flat brush is what pushes the paint underneath your stencil. So we want to preserve that shape. So I just will rotate it under running water. And once again, when it's running clear, Come over here, rinse it out, and pinch it dry. And that is how you do all of your scruffy brushes. So same technique for all of them, except for the flat ones you can go straight across on your ginger grater. All right, now that you know how to take care of your brushes, I hope that you have many happy hours painting. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel and make sure you ring that bell because that will notify you when we have new content. We'll see you in the next video.